Hey everybody, David R. Becker here with Becker Art, and today I want to talk to you about Photopia.com again. This is a Photoshop type filter um, manipulating app or website where you can go to and change a bunch of things on your on your images. So what I want to do today is show you how to take a photo and resize it with the DPI, with the megapixels, with the amount, how big it is, how big a file it is. So that's just something a lot of my students need to know when they're trying to take and print something or put something on their website or when they get into a show and they want to get it or they want to get in a show and, and the perspective says that they need so many DPI, they need it so wide for pixels. And so that's what this is all about today. I'm going to take a photo and I'm going to open it up for you and show you how to do that. Let's get right to it. So you're going to go to photopia.com, open from the computer, pick out a, a, a photo, and then right away, you're going to see there is a ruler in this Photopia. Uh, sometimes there isn't, it isn't there. And I notice that sometimes when you're first starting out, you don't see certain things. And so this would be in the view section. So you go to view and that would be in the rulers. So these rulers right here, you see it's checked. So that's the rulers up there. And so you can get there also with control R on your keyboard. But see, now it's gone when I click on there. I go back to view, get the rulers back. And now on the rulers themselves, it's either inches, pixels, or other ways. And so you can right click on the actual ruler. See the cursor right there? It's right on the right on the ruler. And then you see pixels or inches. So I can see how many pixels, or I'm going to be working in inches. And then you can change this right there by right clicking on the actual ruler. Now the image itself, if you don't know what it is, and actually I'm on a magnifying glass right here. The magnifying glass just makes it bigger and smaller on the visual screen here on the monitor it doesn't have anything to do with the size of the image when you go to print it or anything like that that's just the size that's just for viewing and so i'm going to bring it break it down you can also go control plus or minus to make it bigger or smaller but again that's just for the monitor now to see the actual image size you can go to image and then there's image size and canvas size image size and canvas size are both the same thing the canvas size is the size that, of the canvas that you see the photo on. The image size is the same thing, but with the image size, you also get other things besides just this, the dimensions of the size. You also get the, the dots per inch, like how many dots per inch this thing is. This is usually it starts out at 72 DPI, and then it shows you either in pixels that this is 3,000 pixels width by height of 4,000 pixels. But if I want to see inches, I just press right here, and I go to inches, and then it'll show me 41.67 by 55.65, right? Or 56. And so if I want to change any of this, I just click on, let's say I want the height to be, I want this to be the size of a half quarter sheet of watercolor paper, which is usually I make them 14 inches. So I'll go to the height, I'll, I'll select it. I'll put 14 right there, 14 inches. And then I just click on there. And then I click on the top ones, it'll change it automatically because I have the link right there linked and so i'll just click right there and it's going to it, change it to 10.5 and so that's in proportion with what it was so then now it's 10 10 point 10 and a half by 14 inches at 70 dpi now i want the dot spread to be a little bit higher because it's, um, for printing you like to have it big and so a little bit bigger because it's dots per inch so now i only have 72 dots per inch so let's make it let's say printers usually like to have 300 dpi um, so if I make it 300 DPI, which is what printers usually like to have it at, and I press OK, now, right now it's 12 megapixels. The size of the file itself is 12 megapixels. And so sometimes that's, that's pretty high. Um, not for a printer, but for, let's say, um, a website. Or if the, if the competition says they want no bigger than 3 megapixels the size of the image, then you can't make it 300. Um, and so let's just see what 300 is first off, uh, because this doesn't change the image size doesn't change until I hit OK. So I'll see you because I changed the I would change the width and the height, and I also changed the dots per inch. So let me just click OK. And now it's gonna it's sticking, and so now I made it 300 DPI at the 14 by 10.5 inches. So I'll go back and see again. I'll go back to Im image size, and now you can see it's 13 because I made it a little bit higher um, res. Or, um, so it's that's per inch is three dot three hundred, and the point zero 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 that it's still three hundred pixels per inch. So that's three hundred pixels per inch. So that's really a lot of pixels in there, right? So 
but let's say I can't have the image size, the megapixels, that's the actual size of the file. If I can't have it, let's say I have to have it three megapixels, then I got to go down with the deep depth per inch a little bit or make the picture itself smaller. But I don't want to do that because I wanted to print at 14 by 10. Actually, if it, I'm not... I'm not, if I'm sending it to a place, I'm not, they're not printing it. It's just for a screen also. So they're not printing it. So in that case, I can keep it and um, I'll maybe drop it down to, to, let's say 100. Let's go to 100 dots per inch and press OK. And let's see if I got the image size. Now it's 1.47 megapixels. So that's a smaller file now. And it's almost too small if I can go for three. So then I, I would I would go out of this and not change it. I'd go back to the original because then I know that next time, because this is not Photoshop and some of the things in Photoshop would tell me right away how many megapixels it is, but this doesn't do that. It's a little bit not as, um, maybe if you downloaded this, it would do that, but this is on a website. So it's not going to give you it instantaneous. So what I'm going to do is I, I'll go back up to like maybe one, 150. And see, it doesn't change the megapixels up here. Instantly, I have to first click on OK and then go back. And so I'll see now it's 3.31 megapixels. So that's good enough. You know, If you knew exactly 300, then you'd have to just jimmy that around and see how many dots per inch that is. You know, how many you just lower it down or up it to make the megapixels. But you'd all do it right here in the image size. And that's the best place to do that and make the size as bigger or smaller of your picture. And let me just go over what they are again. So dots per inch is the dots per inch. Those are the pixels per inch in the photo. Um, the height and width can be done in inches or pixel, pixels. And so if I do it in pixels, now you can see it's 21 height, 21,000 pixels high by 1500, 1575 width, right? So that's by pixels. And then the megapixels is the amount, the size of the actual file size. All right, so those are the three things that, that a lot of times they'll ask you to get one or the other or, or the sizes. And so look at the prospectus. If you're printing it, um, it doesn't matter the file size. Just get yourself a nice big file size. Make it 300 DPI because it's dots per inch. So the more dots you have per inch, the nicer it's going to print out. If you're doing it black and white, though, that's another thing. Um, black and white is a lot um, less. You, you make it a grayscale. But we're not going to go into that right now. We just, um, I just wanted to show you how to make the picture up or down. And um, so that's how you do it. All right. And so if you ever, if you ever want to, don't save over the original, as I always tell people, is that you want to keep it. So if you're saving it, let's just say, okay. And if you're saving it, you go file. Don't save. Don't hit save because it'll save it over your original file. What I like to do is instead export it. Export it as a new file, and then you can make it either a JPEG, a GIF. Uh, um, if you're a PDF, you can make it a PDF right here. So you can. Uh, that's what you do right here when you're saving. So you go save. I don't. I don't save it over the actual original image. Which the original image, if you look up here, it says that it's a Photoshop PSD. That's a Photoshop file. So if you want to do um, again, export it. So export as. Um, a JPEG. So I'll just say, like I said, if you want to do a, a photo, a PDF, you can put it right here. So I'm just going to do a JPEG. And so then I usually give it a new name because though it is a, in Photoshop format, so it's not going to go right over it, but I always like to change the name too, just so I know what it is, where I got it. And then here it tells you how many inches it is, the width and pixels, and the quality is hundred percent. I usually put it on hundred percent so that you don't want it less quality. And then just hit save. And then look where it's going to. Um, save for web. Oh, this is saving for web. So JPEG, save for web. So I'll just hit um, save. So we'll go down here. And so I can open it up on my, on my top here. See, it shows me. And that's on my computer. We'll just get rid of that. But here, that's how you save it. And again, don't save over your original because you never know. <laughs> you don't want to have that original go away if you, whenever you don't want it to go away. And um, leave it at the high res because a lot of times your photos, when you're taking it with your camera, like your good camera, it's going to be really high res. And so you don't want to get rid of that. You may want to take it down, but do it with a different file. All right. So there you have it. That's how you change your 
your size of your image uh, with, with um, Photopia and look for more of these coming out as they come, as I make them. And so we'll see if we're going to do one a week or if we're going to do here now and then. So just subscribe to my channel and you'll get notified when I do put out a new, a new video. All right. Until the next time, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.